What's up guys, Swift here covering everything Chicago Bears. I mentioned yesterday in my quick video that I am participating in the NFL Legacy Mock Draft for the fourth consecutive year. It's a Discord community where each team is ran by a selected team expert. So all picks are made by real people and all trades. This is usually the best mock draft I participate in all year round and it's really fun. Going into yesterday's first round, I knew I had zero chance of getting someone like Jalen Carter, so initially I had my eyes on a couple of players like Paris Johnson Jr. or Broderick Jones. I was also very intrigued by Kalijah Cansey and Lucas Van Ness, but I didn't want to draft them that early, and I also didn't want to leave the first round without getting my right tackle. Interesting note, both Cansey and Van Ness fell outside of the first round, I like the defensive line options much better on day two. The draft started out very normal. C.J. Stroud, Bryce Young, Will Anderson. Then the Colts took Anthony Richardson at number four, Tyree Wilson to the Seahawks at five, Jalen Carter to the Lions at six. At this point, I was putting feelers out to see if any team was interested in moving up to number nine. I had three teams interested. The Steelers offered me a second round pick swap only if Christian Gonzalez was still on the board at number nine. The Bills and Jags both made offers as well, but I would have been moving down much further and wasn't very comfortable with that. The Bills were offering number 27 and a third rounder with Ed Oliver. I wasn't comfortable dropping that far. I like Ed Oliver a lot, but I prefer to come out of these mocks with picks over players. As we got through the first seven picks, I was hoping Christian Gonzalez would fall to number nine. Devin Witherspoon went to the Raiders at number seven, and I knew the Falcons could take Gonzalez, but I just waited patiently. The Falcons took Joey Porter Jr., and I contacted Pittsburgh to see if the deal was still on the table. They said yes, and at the same time, Jacksonville was offering me a second round pick to move up from number 27. In the end, they didn't offer enough, and I took the swap with Pittsburgh and moved down to pick 17. I moved down 8 picks in round 1, but moved up 12 picks in round 2 from number 61 to number 49, giving me 3 picks in the top 54. This is what I really wanted to do, but I was still interested in moving back down a little bit further if a team offered an extra pick. The Steelers would take Christian Gonzalez, Eagles took B. John Robinson, my trade was the first of the entire draft, but after my move, more teams got involved. As picks number 11 and 12 were both traded, the Bengals took Paris Johnson Jr. at 11, and the Bills got Jackson Smith and the Jigba at 12. And then the Packers took Miles Murphy, and the Patriots took Zay Flowers. Deontay Banks and Nolan Smith were the next two picks, putting me on the clock again at number 17 overall. Broderick Jones was staring right at me, at this point, Skaronsky, Broderick Jones, Darnell Wright, and Anton Harrison were all still on the board. I figured I could move down one more time and still get a right tackle that I'm happy with. The Vikings offered me a third round pick to move down to number 23. The trade value matched perfectly. I dropped another six spots and picked up a third round pick. The Vikings would then take Will Levis at number 17. Seems like a good move for them getting their quarterback, but Levis was in free fall and may have been there at 23. After that, the Lions took Dalton Kincaid, the Bucks Anton Harrison, Seahawks Osiris Torrance, the Chargers Michael Meyer, and the Ravens added wide receiver Jordan Addison. Then at number 23, I instantly turned in my pick because there was a guy on the board that I would have been happy with at number 9. Broderick Jones, he's going to come in and be my day one right tackle and really solidify this offensive line. I love that I was able to move back and still acquire one of my top targets. Day one was awesome. I landed Broderick Jones and now have picks 49, 53, 64, and 84 to make today. I will be making two second round picks and two third round picks after acquiring the extra third rounder from Minnesota. I'll finish off day three tomorrow. I love the way this draft is playing out so far, and I will update you guys with how my day two wraps up. I will pin the Google spreadsheet to the mock tracker in the comments and the description below if anybody wants to follow along with the results. Picks are updated live. I'll also be finishing up my TJ Edwards All-22 video. Keep an eye out for that. Please remember to hit that like button for me, 
And until next time, bear down.